Hello friends, welcome to Global Online University. Friends, I am Bahubali. In this video, we are going to discuss some important MCQs on macroeconomics from the subtopic theory of employment. And friends, we are providing you 10 mock tests on paper to economics for your upcoming UGC net and other state set. And friends, I would like to tell you about our 10 mock tests. We are providing you 10 mock tests on paper to economics. See, these tests will cover the full length syllabus and we, you can also download PDF with answers. We are providing you important MCQs notes in lecture and also in PDF. And uh, all these are available only at Rs. 999. And these tests are very helpful to assess your preparation. Here you will get solution for each question. And also you can you can contact with this given number to join for these tests. And once if you subscribe for these 10 tests, then you will be added to our paid WhatsApp group, especially made for the paper to economics. Here you will get the link of the test and we are providing you 10, 10 mock tests on paper too. And you can also download the PDF of all the tests and you can discuss on MCQs in this WhatsApp group. Okay, to join for this test, you can contact to this given number. Okay, let us move to the today's questions. Here the first question is, according to Keynes investment demand depends, of, uh, depends on which of two factors. Okay, first one is rate of interest, second one is income of consumer, third one marginal efficiency of capital, fourth one marginal propensity to consume. I think you are aware about the Keynes investment demand. Okay, it is uh, four options are given here. Keynes investment de uh, demand is depends on rate of interest and marginal efficiency of capital. Uh, these two are in option C. Okay, one and three. So option C is the correct answer. Okay, let us see wha what do we mean by investment demand. Okay, investment expenditure it refers to the creation of new assets or an addition to the stock of capital assets. As you all know, okay, according to J.M. Keynes, investment depends on two factors. One is marginal efficiency of capital, which is also known as the expected rate of profit, and the second one is rate of interest. These are the two factors which are de determining the investment demand according to J.M. Keynes. And uh, there is a direct relationship between MEC and investment demand. Okay, in, if in, uh, rate of the profit is increases, then investment demand also increases. In uh, rate of profit is known as the marginal efficiency of capital. If MEC increases, then investment demand also increases. If MEC decreases, uh, investment demand also decreases and uh, there is an inverse relationship between rate of interest and investment demand investment demand decreases with increase in the rate of interest there is an inverse relationship because when uh, rate of interest increases people start saving more so they will invest less and when investment decreases peop, uh, sorry when the rate of interest decreases people start saving less and they invest more so there is an inverse relationship between rate of interest and investment demand symbolically we can retire we can write it as investment demand is equal to function of mec and interest rate okay i hope you got this let us move to the next question match the following jb say keynes Modi, modigliani milton Friedman. and this side demand creates its own supply permanent income hypothesis life cycle theory of consumption says law. Four options are given here. I hope you know this. Uh, J.B. say uh, says law is known as the is given by the J.B. say uh, supply creates its own demand. This law is known as the J.B. says law. Then J.M. Keynes he will criticize the J.B. says law. Okay, he will criticize and he will tell that uh, demand creates its own supply. Then then Modigliani and uh, okay permanent income hypothesis was given by milton Friedman and modigliani was given the life cycle theory of consumption I th option d is the right answer a is poor uh, jb says says law b is one jm keynes demand creates its own supply then c is three modigliani life cycle theory then milton Friedman permanent income hypothesis okay please remember this let us move to the next question Okay, according to classical economist, 
विच काइंड ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट मे एग्जिस्ट इन द इकोनॉमी ऑप्शन ए वॉलेंटरी अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट ऑप्शन बी इनवॉलेंटरी अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट ऑप्शन सी फ्रिक्शनल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट ऑप्शन डी साइक्लिकल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट Yes, here the right answer is option A, voluntary unemployment. Because as you all know, according to classical economists, the economy is always under the full employment. Okay, so any if there is any unemployment exists, it is known as the voluntary unemployment. Okay, let us see what do you mean by voluntary unemployment in the next slide. Yes, according to classical economists, they believe that okay there is uh, economy is always under the full employment condition okay if any unemployment that occurs in the labor market or in the product market should be considered as voluntary unemployment please remember it and voluntary unemployed workers are unemployed because they refuse to accept lower wages they are not ready to work at the determined wage rate so they are unemployed and if they would only accept the lower wages firms would be eager to employ them okay they are voluntarily unemployed they are not ready to work at the determined wage rate and if you go through the classical theory the economy is always under the full employment there is uh, wage rate flexibility prices are always flexible and the, the classical theory is uh, dependent on the sales law of market and uh, the economy is always under the laissez faire policy there is no role of the government please remember these points about the classical theory so let us go to the next question again the match uh, match the following adam smith david ricardo oilin ib cravis and this side availability doctrine factors endowment absolute advantage comparative advantage okay let us uh, four options are given here and as we all know uh, absolute uh, absolute advantage theory of international trade was given by the adam smith and david ricardo is theory uh, david ricardo was given the comparative cost advantage theory of international trade hexter willin theory is known as the factor endowment then ib cravis availability doctrine yes here the right answer is option b here okay let us check a3 adam smith absolute advantage b is 4 uh, david ricardo comparative cost advantage theory of international trade c is 2 uh, oilin factor endowment ib cravis availability doctrine so please remember these answers let us move to the next question in developing theory of unemployment Keynes option A showed that the economy might not self adjust into the short run but would self adjust in long run option B explained how aggregate demand ad could fail to ensure full employment and might require government spending option C was concerned with how government might change as in order to relieve a recessionary gap option D focused atten attention primarily on inflation Okay, in developing theory of unemployment, G. M. Keynes explained that how aggregate demand would fail to ensure full employment in the economy, and he also states that the government intervention is very necessary. The government has to spend. So he was against the laissez-faire policy. Okay, Keynes believed that the unemployment was caused by a lack of expenditure in the economy. Which okay, when when the where there is the less expenditure, it will lead to decrease the aggregate demand. Okay, so Keynes advocated that the best way to pull the economy to the full employment level is the government should borrow money and increase the demand by in, by infusing the economy with capital to spend. So the government should invest. in the economy so the aggregate demand will increase in the economy so i hope you got this let us move to the next question consider the following statements about a rise in the general level of prices may be caused by okay the uh, general level of prices in the economy rise due to the reasons first one is an increase in the money supply second one a decrease in the aggregate level of output third one is an increase in the effective demand option four options are there first option a only first one option b first and second option c second and third option d all of these yes here the right answer is option d all of the above okay uh, 
see when an increase in the money supply when money supply increases in the economy yes the we purchase more and more so when we purchase more and more when demand increases again the prices will increase in the economy then a decrease in the aggregate level of output yes when output decreases okay but demand is increasing so the producers they will increase the prices then the third one a increase in the effective demand again the same thing when demand increases in the in the economy so do uh, but there is a production will not increase so the prices of the goods and services are going to increase so all of these are the right answer okay let us move to the next question the marginal propensity to consume mpc can be defined as the fraction of option a income that is saved option b a change in income that is saved option c a change in income that is spent option d income that is spent yes here the right answer is option c a change in income that is spent yes mpc it is the ratio between change in consumption and change in income so the formula is mpc is equal to delta c divided by delta y and please remember this statement mpc is constant at all level of income okay let us move to the next question the features of classical system are first one monetary factors determine output and employment second one self adjusting mechanism of the economy third one state action to direct development fourth one optimization through market in the absence of state control four options are given here option a 1 2 2 option b 1 2 and 3 option c 2 and 4 option d 1 2 and 4 according to the classical system according to classical theory which are the right here the right answer is option c only 2 and 4 second and fourth are right here the second one is a self adjusting mechanism of the economy yes it is according to the classical a classical economics the economy is always under the self and self adjusting mechanism there is no role of the government okay uh, the fourth one is optimization through market in the absence of state control okay there is no role of the government in the economy so option c is the right answer okay let us see the next question the premise that there exist inverse relationship between money wage inflation and unemployment was originally given by please remember uh, the inverse relationship between money wage and money wage inflation and unemployment was given by option a aw philips option b milton friedman option c philip kagan option d robert lucas yes i hope you knew this it is given by aw philips and this curve is known as the philips curve yes the early idea of the philips curve was proposed by in 1958 by aw philips please remember it in 1958 in his original paper philips tracked wage changes and unemployment wage changes and unemployment changes in great britain from 1861 to 1951 and he found that there was a inverse relationship between wages and unemployment okay let us move to the next question please remember this line also according to uh, aw philips there is an inverse relationship between wages and unemployment yes the next question is under what conditions would apc average propensity to consume is equal to mpc that is marginal propensity to consume at all level of disposable income apc means it is in consumption divided by income and mpc means it is change in consumption divided by change in income so, uh, four options are there first one is Uh, when disposable income is greater than consumption option b when there is this saving at all levels of disposable income option c when autonomous consumption equals to zero option d the apc will never equal to the mpc okay when there is auto when there is an autonomous consumption is equal to zero at that condition apc equals to mpc okay let us move to the next question match the following this side reverse l shape as curve real money supply liquidity trap wage flexibility and this side keynes model 
एम अपॉन पी लोएस्ट इंटरेस्ट रेट क्लासिकल मॉडल फोर ऑप्शन सर गिवन इयर द राइट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर ओके रिवर्स एल शेप ए एस कर इज गिवन बाय केंज इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज द केंज मॉडल एंड रियल मनी सप्लाय एम अपॉन पी लिक्विडिटी ट्रैप ओके ड्यू टू लोएस्ट इंटरेस्ट रेट वेज फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी इज इज नोन एज द क्लासिकल मॉडल सो ऑप्शन बी इज द राइट आंसर प्लीज रिमेंबर इट लेट एस मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके ओके फ्रेंड दिस इज अबाउट टूडे सेशन वंस अगेन आई वुड लाइक टू रिमाइंड अबाउट अवर टेन मॉक टेस्ट फॉर पेपर टू इकोनॉमिक्स दिस टेन टेस्ट विल कवर द होल सिलेबस ऑल द टेन यूनिट्स विल बी कवर्ड हियर एंड हियर यू कैन ऑल्सो डाउनलोड पी डी एफ विथ आंसर्स इंपॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यू नोट्स वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग टू यू ऑल दीज आर अवेलेबल ओनली एट रुपीज नाइन हंड्रेड नाइन्टी नाइन टू जॉइन फॉर दिस टेस्ट यू कैन कॉन्टेक्ट टू दिस गिवन नंबर हियर and once if you subscribe for this test we will be added to our paid whatsapp group which is especially made for the economics paper to ugc net and other state set examination and and here you can also get the link of links of the test and here we are you can also download the pdf of all the mock test and you can discuss on the mcqs and to join for this test you can contact to this given number i hope you all will join this test and these tests are very helpful to assess your preparation and boost your preparation okay friend thank you very much for more videos for mock test on paper 1 for ugc net and the other state set and also for mock test on economics for ugc net and the other state set you can subscribe to global online university youtube channel thank you